Welcome to Spooky News for October 23rd, 2020. As we get ever closer to Halloween, it seems there are more good news items coming out all the time. Before we get to all of that, though, I'd like to remind you that our YouTube channel, and really all of Spooky Ventures, is supposed to be interactive, so please like our videos, share our videos, and comment. If you have any suggestions for things we should talk about, please let us know. If you haven't already seen it, be sure to check out my review of the Arrow Blu-ray release of The Deeper You Dig that went live on Wednesday. The video release is a cool twofer of movies on two Blu-ray discs. Both come from a cool filmmaking family. One final reminder, keep the video running after I'm done taking, uh, talking for the list of sources and more information links for all the things I'll be talking about today. With that out of the way, let's get to the news. This time we're getting started with a generally spooky story of a seven-foot-tall winged creature that has been called Mothman. There have been a string of sightings of such a cryptid in the area surrounding Lake Michigan since 2017. The latest of those reports was made by a U.S. Postal Service employee at O'Hare Airport a week or so ago. I live in the general area of these sightings. In fact, there have been several reports in Rockford, Illinois, where I grew up, and I live between Rockford and O'Hare. So this is particularly interesting to me. According to witnesses, the creature has red eyes and makes a shriek that has a metallic sound to it. I will have to keep my eyes open for this beast. The next article is all about drive through Halloween experiences. If you've caught any of the recent spooky news updates, you'll know that I've discussed how the holiday has changed in the shadow of COVID. I know that I've talked about several drive through scares. Well, USA Today has a cool article written by a person who went to several of them and discusses what the experience is like. Personally, I wonder if once we're on the other side of this pandemic, the drive through scare might continue. I could see full drive through events existing in the future, but I could also uh, see it incorporated as part of a more traditional haunted house experience. Either way, it's a good alternative for our current situation. With people doing virtual meetings this, these days, it should be no surprise that there are new Halloween Zoom backgrounds. If people are planning a tele-Halloween get-together or just want to bring a bit of seasonal fun to the next meeting, you should find something to fit the bill. Backgrounds include an old cemetery, zombies, an old house, a forest of ghosts, and even a creepy clown video backdrop. Zoom backgrounds are really art at their core, and continuing in an artistic theme, Elizabeth Belsky, who is on Twitter under the name Elizabeth Booski, has unleashed a series of pseudo-book covers featuring horror movies as their theme. From Cloverfield to Us, The Witch, and many more, she has designed book covers of scary horror movies. What's more, they look like well-worn paperbacks. It's a cool idea, and Belsky has done a great job of it. In a similar vein, an artist named Justin Bryant has taken kids' games like Chutes and Ladders and Hungry Hippo and designed horror movie posters around them. The posters are actually so believable, uh, particularly given the sources that have been turned into horror movies, Banana, Banana Splits Anyone, that you might actually wonder if the movies are real. Continuing somewhat in the art theme, but expanding to comic books, are you interested in checking out some digital horror comic books for free? Well, Dark Horse Comics has your hookup. Through the end of the month, if you sign up for a free account on their website, you can read the first issues of such titles as Harrow County, Count Crowley, Reluctant Midnight Monster Hunter, and Hellboy for free. There are more titles, but the time to claim the offer is limited, so get signed up now. Looking to television, Disney has come up with a unique idea for commercials. They've got a series of two-minute short Halloween-based films that are also sponsored commercials. They're running on two of Disney's networks, FX and Freeform. They call these short films bite-size horror. It's definitely an interesting way to rethink television advertising. The next story I want to talk about is perhaps less news than some of the other things, but it is a new article. 
It's all about a new feature on Rich Coase, who is better known to many horror ho many as horror host Sven Gulli. The article is part interview, part feature. For me, the Gazette Extra article is also something I really enjoy, as I'm a big fan of Sven Gulli. Check out the article and check out Sven Gulli online and on MeTV every Saturday night. The show is always great fun. From television, we move to movies, saying that, quote, we want to make mov the movies others are too afraid to make. Rapper 50 Cent has signed a deal to create three new horror movies. In addition to his music, 50 Cent, whose birth name is Curtis Jackson, has been an actor and executive produced the star's drama Power. So while the announcement might seem a bit out of nowhere, there is some precedence for it in his career. Our final article focuses on both events and horror movies. In the midst of the current pandemic, many events have been canceled. Still others have been modified to allow them to go forward in newer, safer ways. One example of such adaptation is Phoenix Fearcon. A horror movie convention, this year's edition has been moved online. While the convention is virtual, it features everything you expect from a convention. There are full-length and short films of the indie variety. There are panels with authors, movie makers, and more. There are going to be guest appearances by people like Bela Lugosi's granddaughter, Lynn Lugosi Sparks. There is even a merchandise area where you can order all your horror film merch. This convention is running now. It started on the 16th and will run through the end of the year. That's certainly extended from what it would be in person. Well, that's it for the news for this week, but looking to our spooky events calendar, we find some dates of interest coming up in the next week. By the way, you can find our calendar on the main website, SpookyVentures.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll see a calendar image. Click that to open the Spooky Ventures event calendar. There are three events of interest for this week. First, today is Sam Raimi's birthday. Secondly, the science fiction horror film Synchronic is going to be released today. And finally, the Craft Legacy is going to be released next Wednesday, the 28th. I'll be back one week from today, which is the day before Halloween, for the final spooky news of this October. Until then, until then stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, keep it spooky.
Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.